<sighs> Welcome all, and thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and create a system restore point. Uh, by default in Windows 10, it's turned off. So you have to go there and uh, turn it on, enable it, and create that point. So let's go ahead and do that by accessing a control panel. So to do that, we'll go to our start button on the bottom left. Instead of doing a left click, we'll do a right click to bring up the alternate uh, start menu. And once the options come up, go ahead and click on control panel. Under control panel, we're going to go to uh, system and security. Some of you may have the, instead of category view, you may have the... Uh, the, large, the icon view so you may see something like this if you do you know just navigate down to system but if you have the category view just go to system and security click on uh, system and on the left hand side here we want to click uh, system protection so go ahead and click on that and again by default it's uh, it's turned off so it's going to list all the drives that you have available on your computer here the one that we especially want to turn it on for is the uh, system it's going to typically going to be your local C drive, your system drive. And that's where your operating system uh, basically is installed on. So once we have that highlighted, just do a left click over it, click on configure. And let's go ahead and uh, click on this radio button. Select here, turn on system protection. And you can adjust this uh, however you want to uh, adjust the size of how much, you know, system restore points uh, get stored. Um, you can just adjust this bar depending on how large a hard drive is or whatever you prefer. So right now it's just set to allow up to 5.5 uh, 5 gigabytes of uh, restore points. I'm going to click apply. Click OK. So now that we have it on, let's. what I would recommend is to at least uh, create a, a restore point. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that it's configured, it's turned on, click uh, create. And let's just call this, um, just say Windows 10 restore point. You can call it whatever you want, something specific. If you're about to make a, ch a big change to your computer or you're about to install something or do something that you think could crash it or could do something, I uh, would recommend to do that. To just And just kind of name it whatever you want, you know, whatever whatever you think is uh, valid for that, uh, whatever's going on. So hit Create. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and start creating uh, that restore point. And what this does, it's going to allow our system to basically be reverted back to this point um, so if you made a change on the system, if, if something got corrupted, uh, it's going to allow you to go ahead and revert back to that specific point in time. And it's going to revert all your files, all your applications, uh, your system settings uh, to, that, to that point. So go ahead and hit close. And in order to access that restore point, let's go ahead and click right here where it says System Restore. Go to Next. And as you can see, it's here's the one that we just did, and it was a manual because we uh, created it ourselves. Um, so that brings up a good point, though. I'm going to show you something. The so that's the restore point we just made, and you can revert back to that point just in case you're getting all kinds of issues, all kinds of errors with something that you, you know you may have done or um, you know done by accident, or all of a sudden the system just crashed and you want to revert it back to that that point in time. So let's go ahead and hit cancel there. Now, if you don't want to just be creating restore points manually, or you're like me who you know forgets to do it. Uh, you can set it to do. You can set it to create these points automatically. So let's go ahead and click on the start menu on the bottom left. Do a left click this time, and just uh, type the word uh, two words uh, task scheduler. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and open that up. And in here, what we want to navigate uh, to is the system restore folder. So let's go ahead and expand this task scheduler library. Uh, expand the Microsoft folder. Expand the Windows folder. And let's uh, scroll all the way down to uh, System Restore. Let's go ahead and expand this so you can see it a little bit better. And there it is right there. So go ahead and do a left click over that folder. And you're going to have something that looks like this. It'll, it'll just say SR for System Restore. It's going to be a task that's already in there by default. Um, if you don't have it in there, you may have to recreate that. But what we want to do is um, do a right click over it. Go to properties, and we want to go to the uh, triggers. That's what we're going to make. So do that. Click on that tab. Click on new. And what I would recommend, I mean, if you're constantly making changes, or I mean, the more restore points you have, kind of the better. So, and it really, really comes in handy when something really does go wrong. Uh, so 
it's up to you whether you want to do it on a daily basis, a weekly or monthly. I mean, those restore points can add up. They do, you know, take up some of the data depending on how large your hard drive is, you know, so on and so forth. But I would say maybe to do it at least weekly. So what you can do is if you do the weekly option, just choose that. Uh, just choose what day of the week uh, you want to do it. Let's just say Sunday. And so weekly, Sunday, um, recurs every, you know, every week. Hit OK. And as you can see here, it's going to say at 5.55 p.m. every Sunday of every week starting at starting you know from today. And that's enabled. So it's going to create that restore point automatically for you. You can go in there and play around with it some more, set, you know, set it to however you want to set it to. Uh, you can also change some of the options under the general. Uh, you can say to only create restore points under a specific account. Or, uh, you know, you have different options here. But under the uh, triggers, go ahead and highlight, click edit. Make sure that this checkbox is uh, checked right here at the bottom, enabled. You want to make sure that's enabled and set whatever option you want up here. So that's how to do. That's how to make the system do it automatically for you. So, you know, just in case of system failure, something happens, you at least have that restore point that you can go back to. And again, this is something that often people don't do, but when something goes wrong, this really helps out a lot. So, uh, the system tries to do it automatically sometimes, but it's best, I would say, to just go ahead and schedule it. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine, but go ahead and, you know, be sure to create that restore point before you do anything that you think is going to, you know, have a big impact on the system. So that's how you do it on Windows 10. Again, by default, it's uh, disabled. Just make sure to go ahead and enable it, set the space you want, uh, create the restore point right away if you want to, um, and then you can go in, into uh, Task Scheduler here and just set it to do it automatically. Again, thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. If you did find this uh, information informative, Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe below. That way you can get alerted to any of the new content we have. If you have something that you want uh, me to go over or make a tutorial or video on, just let me know. Uh, message me through uh, the YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and look over it and uh, get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you.